welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Shauna. Today I am going to be answering some questions I got from some friends over on Instagram as well on Facebook. I'm going to be doing a Q&A and letting you guys get to know me a little bit better. Um, all the channels that have I'm going to be mentioning will be linked in the description box down below. So if you're interested, make sure you go and check these ladies out. jump in to the questions because there's quite a few of them and I have a feeling I may ramble on a little bit about some of them. So the first question is from Brittany, Jade, and Heather. I will leave both of their channels linked in the description box down below. Their question was how do you balance work life and mom life with, a, um, with YouTube life and how do you push out regular content? Um, my friend Heather said, I know it was hard. She said, I know I had a hard time balancing work and normal life when I was a working full, when I was working full time and I couldn't imagine doing it with a toddler. I feel ya. It's hard. Um, so this was probably one of the most common questions. How do I balance it all? And it's one of the questions I get quite often actually over on Instagram. People just DM me and asking how I balance it, how I time manage, things like that. Um, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. It's really, really hard. I just try to do the best I can. Um, I work 40 hours a week. Monday through Friday. Luckily, I do have a job where some days I'm really busy. Like right now, it's a really busy season, but most of the time it's a pretty chill time and I, I can edit um, like on my breaks and on my lunch time and I do that a lot. Like on my little breaks and on my lunch, I will edit. I will just sit in my office and edit or I'll create thumbnails or do whatever I need to do. I'll respond to comments, whatever I need to do. And I do that quite a lot, which is, I'm thankful that I have a job that I can do that with. So when I'm at work, I'm at work, but I do edit here and there during the day. When I'm at home, I try when my son's awake to give him my undivided attention as much as I can. Um, this is hard, especially on the weekends, because since I do work full time, on the weekends, I still have to get the house in order usually. Um, it's I'm busy cleaning and doing stuff like that. And so some weekends, my husband and I do feel like we're just passing our son back and forth while someone does something. Um, but we try really hard to avoid that. And we are trying to make a more conscious effort that we try to do things during the week after he's gone to bed. And that way on the weekends, we can just have family time. And during the week when he's awake, it's just family time as well. Um, but it is hard. It's very hard. I do try to make sure I'm putting my phone down when I'm having time with my son. But again, that's, it's hard, but I do, I do try to make a conscious effort to do that. Um, and then YouTube, I just, I edit when I can. I edit on my breaks at work. I edit at night when my son's asleep on the weekends. I'll edit on while he's taking a nap, as long as there's nothing else that needs to get done. Um, I'll film on the weekends when he's napping. Usually it just, it just depends. I, I fit in editing wherever I can. <laughs> But yeah, I don't have a great answer for you, except for that it's hard and I just do the best I can. Next up from Brittany, she asked, how do you have the energy after a 40 hour work week to do fun things with your kiddo outside of the home? Uh, <laughs> this goes back to the other question is that it's hard. Um, I just make the time and the energy, I guess. I, I try very hard when I'm around my son not to seem tired or upset or anything. I try very hard for the version of me that he sees to be a very happy and outgoing and energetic and fun person. Um, and because I consciously know that I want that to be the version of me that he sees, um, it's just, it, I, I can do it. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly how it's kind of that fake it till you make it just trying to pretend to be happy and energetic around him usually helps increase my energy. Um, I do drink sodas and coffee <laughs> for energy. Um, I will take naps when he's napping on the weekends. Um, but we are pretty go, go, go most of the time because he's a very energetic little boy and it is hard to keep up with him. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually usually more tired by the end of the weekend than I am during the week working all week, but that's okay. That's just the life of a crazy little boy toddler. I got this question from a couple people from Micah from the Sanders clan, as well as Brittany. Um, both of them asking about future of kids. Brittany asked, are you planning on having more kids? And Micah asked how many kids I want. Um, I do want more kids. I had always planned on having about five before we had Charlie. Um, Charlie kind of, I had been around children a lot growing up because I was a nanny and I worked in daycares and I had been around kids a lot. So I always thought I wanted this house full of kids running around and I still kind of do, but Charlie's a handful. I'm not going to lie. He's a very energetic, very, um, independent and ornery. And he's, he's just, he's a lot, he's a lot to handle. And I love him to death. 
and I wouldn't trade it for the world, but I just don't know if I want so many anymore. Um, I know we will have at least one more, hopefully. Um, hopefully in the near-ish future. We haven't quite figured out when exactly we want to start trying again. If you would have asked me before I had Charlie, I would have told you we would have been trying already. But like I said, things changed after we had Charlie. Um, I also do want to lose a little bit more weight. I'd like to lose at least 15 more pounds before we start trying. So all that kind of plays into it, but I would like to have at least one more child. So next, Micah from the Sanders clan also asked, what is your heart? What is the hardest part about putting your life on YouTube? Um, for me, it's knowing where to draw the line. So it's knowing where to draw the line. So what to put on there and what not, especially with all the things going on with YouTube right now. For example, I posted a morning routine recently where I just briefly talked about my child being potty trained and us trying to start potty train or us potty training him and my comments got turned off on it and yet they're not turned off on any of the other videos he's in and so that's kind of like ugh. so maybe I should have drawn the line and not talked about that um which hopefully the comments are still on this video um I my husband doesn't like being in YouTube so that's also hard is knowing um kind of like how much can I put on there without getting my husband on? Um, so I think that's the hardest part. It's just kind of knowing where to draw the line, what's safe to put on there and what's not. Um, I also, I don't like my, I don't put my last name or my address or anything like that on YouTube. So making sure like when I'm filming that none of that shows. I've had a couple times in the past where I'm filming, especially like my cloth diapering stuff, where the bag that I use for Charlie's Cloth Diapers has his name on there, the full name, and so I have to like blur that out and stuff, so things like and that. And Micah from the Sanders Clan also asked, how do you keep up with a sugar-free diet for Charlie? I have tried so much multiple times and I tend to find myself in a hole for getting the boys sugar-free items. Um, This one, I have a whole video about how we went sugar-free, why we went sugar-free and all that, and I'll leave that linked up above and down below. And if you guys are interested in more information on this subject, let me know in the comments down below because I'm happy to make a whole video dedicated to this. I'm just gonna give a short little answer here. So my biggest suggestion is just read the ingredients. Um, most foods you can find an alternative without added sugars in it. Uh, my son still eats mac and cheese and chicken nuggets and hot dogs and whatever, all the normal kid food, PB&Js. We just find items that don't have sugar included and it's you can do that if you just pay attention and look. I think as society as a whole, we've gotten so used to not paying attention to what's in our food. Um, but if you just read the ingredients, it's really not hard to find options that don't have sugar in them, like added sugars. Um, that's my biggest suggestion. Like I said, we, I can do a whole video about how we've done that, how I keep it up, um, items specifically that I buy, things like that, if you're interested. But like I said, my son still eats all the normal foods. We just have different options that we give him that aren't craft mac and cheese. We, you know, we buy the Annie's mac and cheese instead because it doesn't have sugar or um, things like that. Instead of giving him animal crackers, I give him goldfish because they don't have sugar, things like that. So it's really not hard. My son still eats all the normal food. He still has juice. He still has mac and cheese. We just find ones without sugar added. So let me know if you want a whole video dedicated to that down below. Next up from Carolyn over at Contemporary Mama. What inspired you to start your channel? Who are some of your favorite channels to watch? And what, if anything, could you ever, and what, if anything, could ever convince your husband to make an appearance appearance in a video? Um. Okay, so let's start with what started, inspired you to start your channel. Um. Being pregnant, I wanted to document my journey being pregnant and my son's life growing up. Um, unfortunately, with everything going on with YouTube, he's not in my videos nearly as much, but my favorite videos are still the ones that have him in it. And that is still what, why I started my channel is because I wanted to document his childhood and have these as like keepsakes as he grew older. And then she asked, who are some of your favorite channels to watch? Um, like larger channels. Oh, she just asked who are some of my favorite channels to watch. Someone else, uh, Libby from Hello Mama Libby, later on asked who are my favorite bigger ones. So I'll go over both. So my favorite channels to watch, we'll talk about small ones first, are my friends. Um, Carolyn at Contemporary Mama, Heather over at Homemaking with Heather, Libby, Hello Mama Libby, um, my sister-in-law Micah at the Sanders Clan, um, Yesenia, Yesenia the Mom's Life, Courtney over at Mama Makes It Happen. Um, I have a bunch of just like friends that I love watching their videos and I try to not miss any of their videos, although sometimes that's hard and I have to go back and catch up. Um, but my large, my favorite large ones are Jess, um, Jess Fam. She's one of the ones that got me started with YouTube and started watching YouTube. I love Jess Fam. I like, uh, Kara and Nate. They are travel vloggers. 
Um, I love their channel. Their videos and their, the quality of their content is outstanding. I absolutely love them. Um, what other big ones do I watch? I've been watching Shannon Rose a lot lately. Um, I like her content a lot. I've been watching Colleen Ballinger, her vlogs. I really like her content. I was never a fan of her and Miranda Sings. Like, I'm not a fan of Miranda Sings stuff, but I love her content as a mom now, which is a lot of fun. Um, I think those are the main ones that I watch currently. And then <laughs> Carolyn's last question about my husband, if there was anything that ever could convince him to make an appearance. Um, if this ever became like my full-time job and I no longer had to work and I could help support our family just with this, I think that would help convince him. Um, our dream is to stop working for someone else and become our own bosses and move away and just be able to travel. And if I ever made enough money to be able to help support that dream, I think then he would make a, make a, an appearance. But... I don't know. I don't know if he'll ever show up in my videos. We'll see. <laughs> you do see like from here down on him sometimes, but never his face because he just has a thing about not wanting his face online. So we'll see. Next is from Carla. What is your favorite part of doing YouTube and what are some of your goals for 2020? Channel related or not? My favorite part of doing YouTube is the community. I love meeting people and talking to people. I also like the um, creative aspect of it a lot. I like coming up with ideas and filming and editing and just all of that. Um, but honestly, it's the community more than anything, the social media community. Um, I found some amazing women here who I would probably consider some of my best friends. So that's probably my favorite part. All right, and now Libby over at Hello Mama. Libby, what has YouTube taught you about yourself? Um. Gosh, YouTube has taught me that I can get shit done. <laughs> um, that when I put my mind to something, I can really, I can, I can do it. Um, I do a lot between keeping the house running and working full time and doing YouTube and being a mom. I do a lot, and sometimes I'm amazed at how much I can get done in a day. Um, and so YouTube has just taught me, I guess, kind of how much I can do if that makes sense. So the last question is from Choice JJ, and they asked, how do you keep pushing and what motivates you? This is a good question to end on. So how do you keep pushing and what motivates me? It's all about my son and about someday being able to spend more time with my children. I hate working a 40 hour week. I absolutely hate it. And I would love to be my own boss. And I am working on creating myself as a brand so that I can be my own boss. Um, and that's what keeps me going is my, my, my son and hopefully someday future children. I absolutely hate sending my son to daycare every day. I still, um, it's been a year and a half since he's been going to daycare. He's been going since he was 12 weeks old and he's 21 months now. Um, I still have days where I, I leave crying because I hate dropping him off, especially on days when he's having a rough time. Um, I absolutely hate it. And I don't want to do that with another child. I, I won't do it with another child. Um, and so I think that's what keeps me going. What's motivates me is just, I've seen now I am monetized. I am making a little bit of money from YouTube. I'm also making a little bit of money on Instagram and seeing that I can, I can do this. I can make money this way. Um, and I can hopefully someday support my family or at least bring in a similar income to what I'm currently making at my job and maybe someday be able to stay home with my kids and not have to work for someone else. That's what motivates me and that's what keeps me going. So it's all about my family and about making our dreams come true. And that involves us being able to spend more time together. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments down below. I am happy to elaborate on anything you would like. Um, if you are new here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. It is Vlogmas right now, and I am posting a new video every day up until Christmas Eve. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all.